Yo, hello, it's Revy here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make the white orb pop up transition. <laughs> I really need to work on the names here, but uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this was actually a uh, request from uh, uh, a guy from Instagram. And uh, I can show you guys the clip he wanted me to uh, recreate. Okay, so you start off by importing your clip. And I have a Sofago clip here uh, again. This is probably the third video. <laughs> uh, I have it in a row, but yeah. We are going to uh, make a, a freeze frame here so you can press ctrl d boom and you can hide the uh, one below and we what i usually do is uh, press ctrl alt t for the timer mapping here and then you delete the the last key from here boom so now it will be still all the time there there might be better ways to do the uh, freeze frame thing but uh, this is what i usually do so now we're going to make Sofago here uh, disappear. We want we don't want him to be in the uh, freeze frame here. So we're going to use this clone stamp tool here. So we are going to press that one and then double click on our freeze frame layer here. And then we're going to start uh, dragging some colors over this guy here. So you can press Alt to have a reference color here. So I'm gonna press here and then start. But yeah, I will be right back when I'm done. Okay, so when you're done with the clone stamp tool here, you can go back to your main composition here, boom. And it will look something like this now. We are going to make the uh, orb now. Uh, so we are going to make a new shape layer here, boom. And then we're going to go up here to the rectangle, rectangle tool and then press Q, boom, boom. And we have the uh, ellipse tool here, uh, press shift, something like this size, looks good. And now we're going to key from this and this animation is going to be two seconds long so you can make a marker at two seconds. We are going to open this up here, transform. And now I'm just going to adjust the anchor point a little bit so we get the uh, circle here in the middle. So maybe something like that. From there we're going to fix now the position. Uh, and uh, the position is going to be at the beginning. Uh, minus 71 there. And then 852. You start something like down here. And the orb is going to bounce up and then drop down there and the scale should be zero as well press the clock here on the scale and the position and then we are going to go to the middle which is one second you can make a marker here if you want as well the position uh, is now going to be 643 there and then 159 so something like that and here you guys can see if you get, if you guys have used the graph editor, uh, you get these uh, things here you can uh, adjust. So I'm going to make it something like this and then drag this one around. There should be good. Yeah, something like that looks good in my opinion. And then we're going to go to the end, which is uh, two seconds of the animation. And then here the uh, position is going to be 1200 and 22.4 here is going to be 966.7 boom so you basically kind of want to make a like half circle here so you kind of like you know drops down boom and then hits the ground and then the artist appears so this i'm going to drag this up a little bit this one yeah something like this i'll make this drop a little bit faster and we are also going to change the scale here to 100 in the ending. So you get something like this now. Boom. And we're going to enable the motion blur setting here. So you press here. So it looks a lot more better now. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. And now we're going to pre-comp this. So you can right click, press pre-compose, name this orb or something. And then here we're going to change the... Uh, 
time remapping. So we're going to press Control alt t now, something like that, and then go to two seconds, press the keyframe here, then mark them both, press F9, open up graph editor here, and then choose edit value graph. And then here we want to make it a little bit slower in the beginning, so we kind of want to have it, yeah, that, that is fine, and then drag this down a little bit around something like this i think look good so now it looks something like this boom faster than ending that looks good so far uh, and now we are also going to add deep glow to this so it's glowing a little bit more boom and we're going to go to the beginning and then key from the exposure here and the radius and you can press on mold here as well and now go to two seconds and then change the exposure to 4.5 and the radius to 4, 440. And then control, control shift D to cut this. Looks pretty cool now, but we're going to make it a lot more cleaner when we add the pan and crop here. So you press control alt Y and then add transform. And here we are going to change, change a lot of the position and stuff here. Uh, so you can start off by scaling in to around 250, stuff like this should be good. And you can press the scale here and then uh, you can also press the clock here on the position. And now we're going to go to the uh, orb when it starts. So And then maybe go up a little bit, something like that. Maybe around here, follow the orb to so scale to drag up the position. And you can change the, the horizontal position as well. Something like this. And then go to when it's right above Ken Carson here. Make it centered. This maybe. Boom. Follow it down. So you can go maybe to here. Should be good. I think that it looks pretty clean. But we don't want to have this uh, black bar up here. So we're going to add motion tile. Boom, just like that. Drag this above the transform la uh, layer. Press mirror edges. Then output height. Just put it up to like three, 300 and then just do it, put it with as well. So it's pretty, pretty cool now. And to make the, this more smooth and realistic, I like to add the motion blur here. And we are also going to keyframe the scale here to the same. So you can press a keyframe there. And that should be good for the moment. And uh, now we're just going to fix the real uh, clip here. And now you're going to drag the real clip here uh, after uh, your orb animation and everything here. Boom. And you make it visible. So it's going to start just right there. And now we're going to rotate the brush out. So Faye, go here. And if you don't know how to rotate the brush, I made a tutorial on it. I'm going to uh, link it in the descri description so you guys can uh, see that if you don't know how to make it. But yeah, uh, rotate the brush uh, out your person first. So yeah, when you're done with the rotor brushing, you are going to duplicate the layer, Control D, and then you're going to delete the rotor brush effect on the layer below. So you get the background back. And here we're going to add a effect called Fill, and we're going to choose white as our color. Not the best option here because the background is white as well, but uh, just so it matches the orb here. Um, and we're going to keyframe the opacity uh, from 100 here to zero at the ending of the clip. Boom. And we're also going to add deep glow to this. And we're just going to use the default settings. Just press on alt so you can see the background. And uh, now we can open up, open up the clip effects, fill, and then uh, mark the two keyframes, press F9, open up the graph. And uh, we're gonna wanna have it to be something like this, the graph. Appears pretty quick. Boom. And now, uh, when you're done with that, we're going to go back to our pan and crop and uh, mess around with this a little bit more. Uh, pan and crop we're going to mess around with now is the scale and the position again. Uh, so we are going to change the position here to maybe 100. And yeah, now it looks pretty, pretty weird, but uh, we're also going to change back the position to the normal. So. 960 and then 540 uh, this number depends on your resolution on the clip but i have fh fhd so make a impact here so you're going to mark the both keyframes press f9 open up the position one 
then open up speed graph and then drag these one, this one there and this one there as well so it and we're going to do the same with the scale we go to the value one like this one a little bit down and then boom looks pretty pretty cool in my opinion and to make this effect pop a little bit more uh, as it uh, did in the beginning it had like a glowing edge effect so i'm going to make that as well so uh, I'm going to press Ctrl D on the background layer, drag this one above all of the others, and then uh, pre-comp the uh, uh, both beneath and name it like clip or something, I don't know. And then the uh, one above here, and then here we are going to add edge detect first of all. You can add find edges as well uh, if you don't have uh, this effect change the edge, edge smooth to zero, the brightness to 0 0.7, and the threshold is going to be 0 0.14, and choose mono edges. We're also going to add deep glow to this, just increase the exposure to 1.09, and then decrease the threshold to zero, smooth blending, then unmalt. And we're going to make this a little bit colorful, so we're going to add four color gradient to this. So we're going to have this blue up here, and then this uh, pink purple uh, here. And we are going to change the blending mode to color. So it looks something like this. And then decrease the opacity to 65. Pretty cool, but we're going to mask this out so it fades away so we're going to go up to this uh, ellipse tool here then change it uh, back to the rectangle tool and then select the layer and then make a rectangle something like this uh, a little bit glitched out here but uh, it's okay and you're going to drag this uh, down here go to the beginning open up the mask here and then we're going to keyframe the path here you press the keyframe there then go to the ending drag this one all the way up something like that and uh, we don't want to have this outlined uh, thing here so we are going to increase the mask feather here to around 150 looks good in my opinion so now you get something like this instead looks pretty pretty cool but I usually like to mess around with the graph a little bit. So I'm going to mark these two, press F9, open up the graph here, go to speed graph, and then drag this one uh, all the way to the left, and then this one all the, way, all the way to the left as well, so it becomes faster. Boom. That looks pretty, pretty good in my opinion. Uh, and now it just looks a little bit weird with the white here, so I'm going to double click here, copy this layer here, go up again, and then press Ctrl V, drag this one back here, boom, above, pretty, pretty clean. So it now it looks something like this, boom, insanely clean effect you guys should try out. Uh, this was a, I guess, a little bit more advanced tutorial. I know we could go even more advanced into the effect here, but I just wanted to show you guys the like basics to make this effect here. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, and if you guys and if you guys want to support me, I have a website uh, where you can buy uh, packs. And I have uh, recently released my new 3D text pack. So feel free to check that out. And uh, if you guys have any ideas on new tutorials I can make, please comment that down below or DM me on my socials. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe and I, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.